and the cable has hardware built into it so it's going to show up in your device manager even when the phone's not connected. Okay, you need to make sure that your cable is installed on a on a port that's one through four. You can see right here mine is on COM20. So I'm going to change that to a lower port. Click on properties, go to port settings, I'm going to click on advanced and change this to a lower port. I'm just going to use COM1. Click OK. Now that I've done that, I'm going to unplug it and plug it back in. Now you'll be able to see that it's installed on COM1. Okay. okay. Now that you've got your cable ready, on the phone you need to put the phone into what's called pass-through mode. It's also known as diag mode. On this phone you dial pound, pound, three, four, two, four, pound. You see that says pass-through enabled. Okay, so now the phone is ready to connect once you've done that. If you don't do that, it won't connect. You have to have it in pass on pass-through mode. Okay, so I'm going to plug in my cable. Okay, now what I'm going to do, since this is a Sprint phone, it's going to have an SPC lock on it. So I need to use a program called BitPim to read the SPC lock. So I'm just opening that now. So it'll take just a minute for it to open. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to click on File System. Make sure that that's selected. If, it, if you don't see File System, then click on view right here and make sure view file system is checked. Okay, now I'm going to click on edit and settings. Okay, that's going to pull up this settings box. I'm going to click on the phone wizard now. Okay, click other and then other and other CDMA phone and click next. Okay, make sure you choose the COM port that your cable is installed on. Mine is on COM1, so I'm going to choose COM1. It says prolific USB to serial COM port. And click next. And then click finish. Okay, now that you've got that connected, just click on this plus right here. Then click on the plus again for NVM and then click on NVM and it's going to be under NVM002. If you're using a Treo 750 or another Treo it could be on, under the one that says security but I'm going to choose NVM002 for this phone. Okay, that'll pull up a, a screen with a whole bunch of different numbers. You want to look at the numbers that are on the side right here. Now it could be uh, any of these any of these series of numbers that are six digits. So I'm going to start with uh, 115514. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open a notepad. Okay, now I'm just going to write the numbers that are six digits that I find on here. 11 Five five one four is the first number, and then you can also see right right after that is one seven eight three six four. And even though it goes down to two lines, that could be your SPC. So you want to make sure you write that down too. One seven eight three six four. Okay, so now we've got those two numbers written down. Uh, look and see if there's any other series of six digit numbers doesn't look like there is so one of those two numbers is going to be our SPC unless this one has six zeros um, I'm assuming it's not though since this is a sprint phone it should be locked okay so once you have that once you've got your SPC written down click OK and exit out of get pen okay the next thing we're going to do is 
open up the QPST configuration. This is a program that's inside QPST. Okay, and you should see your phone here on COM1. Mine shows up as SURF6050. If you don't see your phone here, then you're going to need to click on Add New Port and choose the port that your phone is installed on. If it was on COM4, you'd choose COM4. Okay, so once you see your phone detected here and it says SURF, click on Start Clients and Service Programming. It's going to pull up this screen and just click OK. Okay, now it's going to open up the program that you're going to use to write the PRL to your phone. First thing you need to do is read from phone. That's going to ask you for your SPC code. Okay, so I'm going to open up this file where I copied my SPC codes to. First I'm going to try the first one. So I'll just copy and paste that into that box and click OK. Now if it reads it, then that's the right one. If it doesn't, then you have to try the other one. And it looks like that one didn't work, so I'm going to try the other one. So 178364, that has to be my SPC. So I'm clicking OK. And if you look up here, you should see the status bar start to move. Looks like it's already read the phone, so we're ready to go. Actually, maybe not. I'm going to try read from phone again. Okay, so see the status bar is now moving. Since we put the correct SPC in, now we can read from the phone. Just wait for that status bar to complete. Sometimes it takes a minute. Okay, now you can see right here our SPC code says service programming is still 178364. So I need to change that to six zeros. I also need to change the one time subsidy lock to six zeros. And if the field service was set to something different than six zeros, I would change that too, but it's not. Okay, next thing I'm going to click on the Roam tab. And I'm going to browse to the PRL file that I want to write to the phone. I'm going to choose Cricut. So I'm going to write a Cricut PRL to this phone and reprogram it for Cricut. And then just click Write to Phone. And wait for the status bar to go all the way to the end. And once it does, the phone has been reprogrammed. So all you need to do is uh, unplug the phone, take the battery out, reboot the phone, and then dial 611 to make a test call and make sure it connects to Cricut. You'll get Cricut customer service if you dial 611 if you did it correctly. Um, if you don't um, connect to Cricut, then just try to flash the PRL file again. And once you've got the phone activated, you can just dial star 228, and that should get the phone working. That's all there is to it.